Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you just how powerful ChatGPT's new image generation tool really is. I've been playing around with it for the past few days, testing all kinds of prompts, and honestly, the results have blown my mind. From fun experiments to actual real-world use cases, this tool can handle almost anything. Let's jump straight into it. For the very first test, I want to create a banner for my website, automation-tribe.com. If you're new here, just a heads up, I build automations using tools like N8N and Make.com, helping people save time and scale faster. I typed in a really simple prompt, which you can see on the screen, and here's the result. I want to create a YouTube thumbnail. My only requirements, a girl on the left and some text on the right. Take a look. This is the first version, and it already looks super cool but I'm not a huge fan of the colors. I want something more vibrant, something that pops more on YouTube. So I just add to my prompt, make the colors more vibrant, and boom, ChatGPT updates the image. Now it really stands out. It also changed the robot girl slightly, but I'm okay with that. Now let's try something new. I wanna keep the same thumbnail layout, but instead of a robot, I want a real girl, and I want the whole image to have a cinematic style. Just seconds later, here's what I got. It looks like a movie poster. Super impressive. Next, I want to tweak the perspective of the girl. I want to see her from the front, and I want her to have blonde hair. ChatGPT did it. She's blonde and facing forward. She doesn't look like the same girl anymore, but still, that's a great transformation. Now let's make her smile. I feel like it'll help the thumbnail perform better. I type a quick prompt, and just like that, she's smiling much better. Let's go one step further. I want the girl to point at the text now, and while I'm at it, I'll change the colors once again. Check it out, done in seconds. Super clean. Now, just for fun, I'm going to replace the girl with someone who looks even better. And wow, this version is next level. I really think she looks even better than the previous one. And now, let's go all in. I want to make the girl ugly. This is just for fun. But the result is hilarious. It's a completely different vibe. All right, time to get a bit more serious. I want to create a set of icons for a furniture business. The key here is consistency and style. And look at this. ChatGPT gave me a beautiful uniform icon pack. A few years ago, Something like this would have taken me hours in Illustrator. Now, seconds. Let's shift to 3D. I want a 3D render of a strawberry with no background. Looks great, right? Now I want the same strawberry, but in a photorealistic style. With a little upscaling, this image would work perfectly in real projects. Let's see how ChatGPT handles 3D logos. I'm uploading my logo. It's not the easiest to work with in 3D, but let's see what happens. Honestly, better than I expected. Not perfect, but very usable for how fast it was generated. Next, I want to create a digital banner for my automation business. You can see the result on the screen, and feel free to copy the prompt if you want to try something similar. Here's something a bit unusual. I saw a cool blue robot in a Crunch Labs video. So I asked ChatGPT to extract that robot from a screenshot and remove the background. Look at the result. It has three eyes instead of one, but it's super close to what I imagined. Last week, I generated some Easter-themed images like this rabbit holding a globe. Then I asked ChatGPT to improve the quality and it did a fantastic job. Let's try something more advanced. I want to design a poster and I'm going to use a very long, detailed prompt. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read it all. Here's the result. Really solid work but I did notice two small mistakes. The date is incorrect, and the URL is wrong. It says automationtribe.com instead of automation-tribe.com. No problem. I simply asked ChatGPT to fix both issues, and it did it perfectly. Now I want to push the limits a bit more. Let's generate a comic book page from a complex prompt. Again, pause the video to read it fully. The result? Super impressive. This opens the door for creating full comics with just a bit of creativity. 
Now imagine what you could do with this tech. And once the API becomes available, I'll be building all kinds of crazy automations. It's going to be a fun ride and probably a profitable one too. Okay, here's a real world use case. I sell digital products on Etsy and I often need mockups. I made a t-shirt image and now I want to replace the logo on it. So I upload two images, one with a girl with a scrambled logo and another one with my actual logo. ChatGPT understood exactly what I wanted. It removed the original logo and placed mine in the perfect spot. Now for a fun one, I created a photo of a happy couple with their mother-in-law in Paris. Then, I asked ChatGPT to remove the mother-in-law from the picture. Take a look. She's gone. The bride's face changed a little, but the result is still super clean. She's even smiling now. Maybe she's happy her mother-in-law is no longer in the photo. Now I want to generate a logo for my website. I gave a few basic instructions. This version, not my favorite, but I know with better prompts, the results will improve. Let's try something useful now, an infographic. I added some numbers and info and asked ChatGPT to generate a clean layout. This is the result, and I'm genuinely amazed. People are selling these types of graphics on Etsy and Gumroad every day. Next, I want to generate an anatomy illustration for education. And this one turned out really nice. Clean, well-labeled, and easy to understand. Let's get a little creative again. I want to make a cartoon-style owl in flat design with no background. It looks great, but I noticed a small 80 on its head. So I asked ChatGPT to remove it. And just like that, it's gone, fixed in seconds. Now I'm uploading a sketch, and I want ChatGPT to turn it into a photorealistic image. The result is impressive. Yesterday, I tried with a less detailed sketch, and it still looked amazing. If you're an architect, this could be a game changer. You can sketch out a room, ask ChatGPT to render it with realistic lighting and vibrant colors, and boom, you have a professional looking visual. Here's one I tried. Looks fantastic. Let's have some fun again. I wanna create a step-by-step -step diagram on how to draw a panda bear. The prompt is long, but the result is perfect for tutorials or eBooks. You could even sell these on Amazon or Etsy. Actually, now that I gave you the idea, maybe drop a like on this video. Okay, time for a challenge. I uploaded a photo of a girl and asked ChatGPT to change the perspective. This time it didn't work that well. But then I asked to convert it into a cartoon style and that worked great. And one last example. I took a screenshot of some icons online and asked ChatGPT to create nine new icons in the same style. Here's what it generated. I love the consistency and the look. So there you go. I walked through over 30 real examples and honestly, ChatGPT delivered in most of them. From banners and logos to mockups, thumbnails, and even comics and educational content. This tool is a powerhouse. And once the API is officially released, I'll start building automations that take all of this to the next level. And of course, I'll share everything right here on the channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which example was your favorite. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.